everybody, welcome to Bond Life Training. Today I'm going to be talking about introducing a newborn baby or a very young baby to a puppy or older dog, uh, whatever you have in your home. My assistants today are Trump and Brave. They are two greater Swiss mountain dog puppies. They are eight weeks old today and we're just kind of hanging out with them. So they'll be in the video in and out. I am letting them kind of roam the house. So they're gonna come and go as they please. And later I will do a demonstration with them and my own baby, um, just kind of talking about just introducing them and how it should work. This is really quite simple, introducing your dog to your baby. Um, there's only one step, don't. Don't introduce your dog to your baby. Do not introduce your baby to your dog. They should have absolutely nothing to do with each other the first few months. One of the reasons that I use this method is because in the wild, naturally, dogs do not introduce their litter to the rest of the pack until they're older. Um, a great example is here in my own home over the years, I've had several litters of puppies and once a mother has had her babies, if I open the door and the dogs come in, they get one whiff and they know, hey, there's puppies here, I'm not welcome. They wanna be outside. They wanna be outside for a couple of weeks. They don't even want to come in. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a young puppy that doesn't really know what's going on, and they'll kinda creep over a little too close to the whelping box, and mom comes out with fire in her eyes. She is ready to kill. She says, get away from my puppies. These are mine. No way, no how. Now, once the puppies start walking, barking, um, moving around a little bit between five and six weeks the mom will start letting uh, the rest of the packet a little bit closer to her to her babies um, and even then it's under a closeful watch she's watching she'll let them come up and give them a sniff if they get a little too rough or anything she chases them away again she says no not happening so that's the number one reason I do this is because the method of letting them sniff things and kind of get close and introduce and and all that that's a, that's a human method versus the not introducing at all. That's a dog method. And I like to meet them where I can. I like to meet them halfway. They don't speak English. They don't understand our ways. So if I can understand something that's coming from them, I like to use it and, and try it. So that's my number one reason for, for doing that. So what this looks like, not introducing a dog to a baby. They're obviously going to be in the same house, in the same room. They're going to be around each other, but they don't have to touch each other or interact. Um, and this includes Things like a jungle gym that's on the floor, like a little baby play mat when they're little. You know, they're cushiony, they got spit up on them, a dog's favorite snack. Um, so they've got the cushion, you know, they got dirty diapers laying around. You know, if you're formula feeding, you've got a bottle. Dogs love baby formula. So, come here. It's a good puppy. What are you crying about? Huh? It's a good girl. Um, so, you know, stuff like that, keep it away, off, leave it. You know, you come home from town, you set the diaper bag down and the dog wants to give the diaper bag a sniff. No, that's the baby stuff, that's off limits. So anything with the baby, whether it's diapers, formula, toys, blankets that you've dropped on the ground the dogs want to give a good sniff to, no, off, leave it. That's not yours, this is the baby mm. stuff. Um, so I highly recommend keeping the dog away from anything baby related. This includes the baby's room, the baby's crib, um, if the baby's sleeping in their bassinet and the dog walks up and goes for a sniff, uh-uh, off. You want the dog away. Dogs are familiar with things because of the things they smell because of scent. So a dog doesn't have to touch a baby in order to get to know them. A dog can smell the baby. Uh, you know, my earlier example, I open the door, the dogs walk in, smell that new litter of puppies, and poo, they're gone. They don't need to see it. They know what's going on. Um, they have a very keen sense of smell. So uh, I wouldn't worry about like, oh, you know, they need to get it. No, they can smell that baby on you when you come home from the hospital or when you've had the baby. Um, and if the dog has been with you since the beginning, the dog knew you were pregnant. They can hear that heartbeat uh, about the same time that you can start detecting it. So um, they know what's going on. They're aware. Uh, it's, it's not like new or, oh my gosh, where'd the baby come from? You know, they, they know what's going on just by the smell and the sense of things. Another thing is that they will respect your children because they respect you. Um, in nature, you know, the younger dogs are typically low on the pecking order. And so when you have a baby, the dog's going to feel that way. But you are their parent. You are up here on the pecking order. The dog is down here and the baby's right here in the middle. So they're only going to respect their ch your child because they respect you. So, you know, what that means is if they're not going to jump on you, they shouldn't be jumping on the kid. You know, you need to, to be there um, to, to defend them and to be ready to be like, you know, that goes back to keeping the dog away from everything. My next point, 
Um, you chase them, you praise them. So let's say you know, you're sitting on the couch, you're holding your baby, the dog walks up for a good sniff. You're gonna get up and you're going to physically like chase them away, off. You want them to go away. And as soon as they get any distance from you, good. They're gonna think, oh, I'm good, I wanna come back. They're gonna be coming back, nip. You're gonna chase them again. And as soon as they get away, good. So you're gonna chase them, but then you're gonna praise them for, for getting back. Uh, that way they understand, um, you know, when the baby's around, it's off limits. No way, no how. Um, and that comes in handy when, you know, when the baby gets a little bit older and you wanna set them on the floor. Um, the dog will be walking like, oh, baby. And it's gonna go around the baby. And that's exactly what you want. Um, and they're not, it's not, this is not gonna hinder their relationship in the future. It's just for now, getting them used to each other, um, getting the dog to understand, you know, the baby's, you know, not to be messed with. When your little toddler starts walking, you know, they're 12 months old, they start waddling, you want the dog to think, oh, the baby is off limits. So you want the dog to do things like go around the baby and go out of his way to not bump into it. Um, and also, you don't want your dog getting so close that your baby's grabbing their ear or biting them or sucking on them. Not only is that pretty gross, that could lead to you know a nip or something if a dog that was startled or frustrated. So you chase them and then you praise them for being away. And they'll quickly learn that oh, they're really happy with me when I'm not near the baby. Um, even, like I said, when you lay your baby on the ground, the dog's like, oh, the baby's here, and backs off, good! The dog's gonna understand that, and that's really key here in getting your dog to respect your child. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to take my own child, and I'm gonna introduce her to these eight-week-old puppies. They have never really been around her. I've never really given them an opportunity to sniff or see her, but I'm just going to set her down and you can see how they would react and what a, a good situation and how to deal with that. We start our puppies the <laughs> second that they, what? You can see the puppies? We start our puppies the second they walk through the door. There's no like, oh, they're so cute. We're gonna let them lick the baby. It's instant, it's right away. So this is uh, kind of how this is gonna go. You see how I'm pushing the puppies away? Looks like Trump got it pretty quick. Brave is living up to her name. So the baby's kind of interested, but I, I need to, you know, make sure to keep the puppies away. Ah. So she, the puppies are so little right now, I don't have to get up and chase them. I'm just simply pushing them away. Ah. Good boy. Good boy. She would really like to play with the puppies, but I'm not letting her, so she's kind of frustrated. Huh? So he's a good boy, he looks like he got it pretty quick. Brave came back several times, but that's kind of what it looks like. They're puppies, they have a short attention span, so if you start this right when you get them, it's great. Uh, now I'm gonna kind of show you an example of dogs that know what they're doing. So here's a great example. I'm sitting here on the couch, there's a coffee table, there's the baby, I want my dog to come to me. Obviously this would be the best way to go, but I'm hoping that when I call him, because he respects her so much, he's going to go around. So we're gonna try, oh no, I not a good sister. I'm gonna have him sit down really quick. Trump, come. Sit. Good boy. Trump, come. Come on. Good boy. That's exactly how I expected it to go, and I'm really proud of him because the easiest path would have been through the baby, and he could have done that without hurting her or knocking her over, but he knew, hey, I better not get that close. So I'm really proud of him. He's three years old, and we've uh, had him since he was a baby, uh, and he did an absolutely great job today. Yes, he did. He's a good boy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do offer personal training courses. You can send me an email or you can message us through Facebook. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.